Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Today, I tested out for reals. Let me grab my items, pack everything up, and we'll be heading out. It is ultralight tent camping today. Yeah, sunny day, sunny day, sunny days. No clouds in the sky, but again, away feels like it's been a freaking decade. Sorry, don't call me because I'm gonna be on break. Sunny day, sunny day, make way. All the stress and doubt, yeah, not today. Feels like it's been a freaking decade. Sorry, don't call me because I'm gonna be on break. Well, I'm going out and I'm taking the ultralight equipment just to see if we could survive the night. First time, I'm a heavier guy, 300 pounds, but I'm also going to do a head-to-head -head with some of my older hammock camping equipment. Um, I really do love hammock camping, I'm not going to lie. I packed the red car as you can see, but of course, um, Eric's taking his vehicle. It's late in the day, we're going to get there just in time just to set up, eat, have a couple drinks and then test this stuff out. Two days, oh actually one day, two nights. Is that right? Yeah, I believe so. Anyways, I'll catch you guys later. What's up guys? Driving down on the 210 freeway, headed to the two to go into Angeles Forest. Again, today was a hurdle for me. Um, I say that lightly but I really do mean it was a hurdle because work is taking over my life I've lost my friends because work has taken over their lives it's time to really get back to who I am and what I want to do for this channel which is get out and live my life um, so I love the potlucks I love my family at work but I need to get out guys stay tuned you'll be able to see what what I see later
So I do have a bug net, but there's no bugs right now. I've always wanted to camp without a bug net, so tonight might be the night. It's just set up right now. Um, and we'll see how this works out. Of course, I got my my tarp. It'll keep me it'll keep me um, safe from the elements. I have my down. This will keep me warm. And I do have an under quilt, and I'll put the under quilt on in just a moment. Right, guys night one this is a hammock setup um, I've had this Kelty tarp for what 2015 so that would be seven years I've taken care of it it's seam sealed getting out here uh, wasn't bad 210 freeway to um, 210 freeway to the two uh, we are at Buckhorn Campground in the Angeles Forest. It's a total of twelve dollars to uh, camp here, and um, again, this is my hammock setup for night one. Eric's got a nice looking pop up. It is uh, Ozark Trail, I believe, and the um, mattress from a. Teton XL uh, 3X like it's just it's fire it's so fucking amazing um, again this particular location that we're at it, which is in the Angeles Forest was established in 1892 uh, it was commissioned by one of the presidents I don't know but I'll put his information down there I just filmed my ultralight gear set up, you know, thinking about going to Little Jimmy. Uh, I do want to just also state that the altitude here has kicked my ass. Eric felt it too. It's just, it's just one of those things that, you know, we have no control over. And it's, it's pretty, it's pretty brutal. Right now, the temperature is like mid 80s it's it's really good it's really nice we brought some beers and alcohol and i don't want to even drink i'm not gonna i, I just don't want to drink i just want to enjoy enjoy this time it's about 5 30 6 o'clock the sun's still in the sky it's over there somewhere but um i can knock out and I'm also hungry. We'll probably record ourselves getting or making some food. I need time for myself. And, and camping is my time. A lot of people don't know this, but I... I had the opportunity to work for the California Conservation Corps. It was given to me as fire camp. I, I was given an option, you know, do good or, or go to jail. And I was sent off to Auburn, California, Placerville, Northern California. And I learned so much and I miss being out in the woods and just smelling the fresh air 
listening to nature. I am scared that, you know, there's bears around, but just getting out, you know, in itself is invigorating. Well, my thing is camping, and I, I really enjoy it. So I'm going to leave you with this. This is night one. I'm tired. Um, I really do need to just relax. I'm looking forward to night two, breakfast, and then um, heading home. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit later. I'm a camping. <sighs> the great thing about hammock camping is that you're always comfortable. You feel like a baby being cradled. It's really good. Really good. <sighs> no bug net. It wasn't. It wasn't a need for a bug net. Um, I will say that I was super dehydrated though last night. Um, I mean the weather was fair, but holy moly, I really did need a lot of water last night. I went through. I went through countless um, <sighs> water bottles. This is my bug net. I use it as a pillow. So, <sighs> this material. All night, um, even though I was super comfortable, I kept thinking that zombies were coming for me because of my heart. You could hear it, You're, this is up against you, and you could hear it like, dum dum, dum dum, which kind of resembled zombies walking. And I was scared that they were going to come and get me through there. I knew they weren't going to come from there because of the tree and the rocks that I would hear them coming. It's kind of corny, but you know, these are some of the things that you have to deal with when you're camping. It's just stupid like thoughts. So I did sleep with my, my knife last night. I was I was ready, zombie ready, <laughs> bear ready, whatever. I know I wouldn't last a, with <laughs> with a bear. Ugh, man, I just gotta say that this adventure was really an adventure. Obstacles that I came across were finding a right tree to hang from. Um, you could see that my my hammock is here, but yet I had to hang from over there, which left this very large, very large gap here. The gap made for great um, air circulation. I was hot all night. I woke up. I woke up sweating. Um, Night one in the books, if, if I, you know, have to make my decisions on how to sleep, um, I still haven't tried the other tent, but I will tell you after tomorrow, or I should say, yeah, after tomorrow, but, um, 
this again is like just being cradled, you know, baby and being cradled from all sides and just it's great. Um, you <sighs> Did I get you? Have you yawned yet? I would definitely tell you to um, have a count. Again, I'm 300 pounds and I can I can do it. So I'm gonna drink like two more bottles of water. Probably go take another dump with the door open. And I'm gonna tear camp down in a minute. So. Yeah, stick with us, man. Talk to you in a little bit.